We live on a truly alien planet. The moment you scratch the surface, you come across things like this. You're looking at one single cell the size of a dust grain. The core of this amoeba is contained in the bulb structure sitting in the middle of this microscopic spider web. The web structure itself is formed by the creature's legs, millions of them. These so-called philopodia are hundred times thinner than a human hair. They are formed by cellular plasma, the liquid content of cells, flowing out from the core in all directions, mysteriously spaghettifying into these thin leg structures. They intertwine and entangle into a living spider web. And just like a spider, also Leptogromia uses its web to capture prey. Its legs ensnare microbes or organic debris and transport the loot like a conveyor belt to the center of the cell, where it will be digested. The philopodia are legs after all and serve also for movement. They dynamically attach and detach to the substrate and pull the creature along. Just to give you a rough idea how strange Leptogromia is, let's take a quick look at some other amoebas. Most amoebas form quasi-legs, the so-called pseudopodia, but none of them are as numerous or thin as Leptogromia's philopodia, just like the weird uncle of an already creepy family. Usually amoeba quasi-legs manifest as thick lobes or protrusions of the amoeba cell. The sheer size allows the study of the plasma movement within. You can observe how the cellular plasma and its contents flow in the lobe, pushing it forward. The cell plasma of regular amoebas has two states, sol state, which is flowing, and a more solid gel state. The sol plasma is accelerated starting from the back of the cell, gradually gaining momentum, creating a pressure gradient within the cell, forcing the forward part of the cell membrane to bulge outward. This transfer of momentum from the inside towards the outside allows the amoeba to move. In contrast, the philopodia of Leptogromia work like a liquid pulley system. Somehow, they are liquid and solid at the same time. A sol-gel distinction is not possible. The philopodia are too thin for that to occur. Sometimes they merge and flow out like a liquid, and the next moment they reshape into thin solid filaments. Millions of ghost legs mysteriously working their magic. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.